Hey everybody, it's James Ferrer at AppMaker University where we believe you can build apps. So hey, I got a little bit of a rant actually that I'm gonna have to talk about today. And it has to do with the way that Google has changed dates in AppMaker. You see about October 9th, Google made a little tweak to I think improve the UI experience uh, across time zones and things like that. But they did a few things that make it a lot harder for us on the developer side to manage those dates. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the problem, at least the way I see the problem. And then I'm also going to take you through the steps that we built in the AMU library to help fix that problem so that you can get the proper kinds of dates in the system and then be able to really utilize the way uh, the way dates were intended to be used. So let's just jump in and I'll show you the problem and then we'll go through the different steps of how we're going to fix it. Okay, so here I've got my setup to test this out. We've got a dates data model set up and in the events I'm going to record a user date and a Google date. That way we can see the difference between the two when it's happening. You'd use this a lot on the onCreate for your whenever you create a new record to do things like set when the date was created and you want that to be consistent so that you can track that and be able to do whatever kind of analytics and things like that you want to do. So let's just jump right over here. We'll see what the page looks like. Pretty straightforward. We've got a plus button here. It creates a couple dates and we run that. Okay, that looks good. And today is actually 1030. So we do have the dates displaying there correctly. It's currently 932 my time. All right, so here's the thing. Let's jump over to Cloud SQL and we'll see what kind of date we got recorded there. All right, so here in Cloud SQL, you can see if I hit refresh, we'll get that new record that I just created. And when we take a look at it, we've got 1030. Okay, that looks good on the date, but the time is actually 832. And the reason why is because Google has set all times and all time zones and everything to do with dates to Pacific time, which is one hour behind me. So that's why we get when it's 8, 9.33 my time or 9.32 my time, we're getting 8.32 Google time. So just the, the thing to think about now is the way that AppMaker is set up is it's all Mountain View Google time. So if you're, if you're in Pacific time, you'll probably never notice a problem like this unless you create an app that does cross time zones and then we have to deal with that. Uh, and I'm definitely going to show you how to do that. So the next thing we want to do is figure out, well, okay, well, how are we going to deal with setting these times uh, to the correct times? So let's jump back over to AppMaker here. And in the AMU library, I've created a couple of extra functions to just help us out with fixing this whole thing so that it's a little bit easier. And the way it works is when you type AMU after you've installed the library, you'll end up getting a couple of our things. Um, I've added a date um, sub method so that you can go in there and figure out things. So we can set the current date, we can set the current time, uh, and then these will end up working out the way we want them to. Um, now they do take, if we do set current time, we could put in a new date there for, for the current time and it's going to ask, and it's, what, what it's going to do is if we just put in a date, um, the way it's going to work is it's just going to set the time to our current time. So let's just take a look at that and see if that works. We'll hit the preview. And remember, I just changed the user date. I left the Google one alone. So if we click the plus now, we get another record created. That looks the same as it did before. But let's take a look back here in Cloud SQL and we'll see how that looks. And now it's 935, which is my time and we've got the correct time, and we've got Google time still showing at that. So we're now able to write, when we do create, when we do a new date type of a function, we're able to now record our time. Now, the, the library is working off of, it's using Google Calendar, so whatever time zone your Google Calendar is set at, that's what it's going to use to determine which time zone you're in. Now you can also hard code it by adding another parameter, um, here in our, our new date object. So when we're setting current date, we, we can take a couple of, we can take the date and then we can take the options. And here in our options, it says that um, one of them is to set time to the current time zone, or the time here. Uh, we're gonna set the options. We have a time zone that's an optional parameter we can, we can put in there. So how that, how that basically works is, is if I wanted to uh, add this and say Eastern, I could add Eastern um, Eastern time here, um, 
and that would that would allow us to then hard code it basically instead of using Google Calendar it's going to use the time zone you put in here so um, you can use the library that way as well okay another place that we're going to see some issues is if we change the date so let's go over and do that so we've got these date boxes here let's change it to uh, Halloween we'll just change both of them right here to Halloween um, and then we'll take a look back at our Cloud SQL database and see what has happened so now we've got this, it's still set to 1030, which is actually today, but we chose the 31st. So now we've got the wrong date in the database. And we've got this weird time, which is 2300. So what the heck is that? Well, what Google's figuring out is they're saying, well, if you use the date picker, because the date picker doesn't have a time picker that goes along with it, which is something I think I'm going to have to solve here pretty soon. Um, because it doesn't have any time, it's going to set it at midnight. Well, midnight Pacific time. So if you're in a different time zone, it's still going to set it to midnight Pacific time, but it's then going to figure out where you're at and kind of minus off those hours. Uh, if you're, say, you know, like I am in mountain time, then it's, it's an hour ahead. So you end up with a day ahead and an hour ahead. So we get the 2300 instead of the zero, instead of midnight, which would be all zeros. And that's kind of an issue too. So, um, that makes it just even weirder. So what we can do to fix that with the AMU library is, let's just switch back over here. So date picker uses on save here. So if we, we end up typing in our user date, we'll just change the user date. We'll leave Google doing what Google's doing on the Google date. And we'll just change the user date to equals, um, and it's the same, it's the same, what we're gonna pass in here is we're gonna use the AMU library here. Um, and the date, and we're going to just set, uh, we're going to use um, current date. Okay, and you can see it has our, our date and our options, and that has a few more. Remember, these are all server-side calls, so these are things that are happening on the server side. I'm just going to show you that today. We also have the client-side stuff, but uh, you probably won't use that nearly as much. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to put in the date here, which in this case, um, because it's coming from the date picker, we're actually going to just re re recycle that record. So it's, it's actually just, um, well, we can, yeah, we'll use the record dot user date. It's just the same thing. We're just wrapping it inside of this function here for the AMU library. And let's just take a look at that. All right, so again, uh, we didn't change anything that has to do with the save record for the, for the Google date, so I'm not going to do anything there, but I am going to go ahead and change this date. Um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of do a back and forth here so we can get it, because we actually want it to be the 31. So I'm setting it at 1031. The UI is still showing 1031. That looks great. Let's go over and take a look at the database now. So I'll just do a quick refresh here, and now you can see that the user date has been indeed set to... 1031 at midnight, so it has the correct date and what we would expect for the time without the, you know, because we don't have a time picker, so we're getting the zero, zero. So these two library um, features that we've added here in the AIM library, and I'll link to the library in the description so that you can get to that really easily, and it has, you know, the instructions and the, the docs, you can read those docs and that kind of thing. All right, so that was how you fix it, and, you know, Google... I don't think we should have to do this kind of stuff. You know, we shouldn't have to like immediately start hacking stuff in to get the dates that we would expect. It, you know, where it really becomes a problem is when you go to do queries and things like that, if you want to get a date range and the date is set to the date before because it was trying to fix some kind of UI hack or something like that, it just doesn't work out. The data's got to match to what we want. This is a fix. Um, I think there is a better way to do it. Um, we have talked to Google a little bit about that, about using AppScript, which it's built on to you know, be, allow you to be able to choose which time zone you're in, so they'll at least set it to that. Doesn't help you if you're setting time zones for other areas. Um, the, library, the AMU library does do that. Uh, but again, I'd rather you didn't have to use it out of the box to get your dates to be the right dates. So we're, we're hoping there might be some middle ground that we can work out with Google here. Um, you know, hey, subscribe. We, we're going to be printing out tons of videos like this. So, you know, just make sure you click that subscribe button so you can get all of our content. And make sure you visit us for things like our boot camp, which is absolutely the fastest way you can learn AppMaker. Um, check that out. You can find us online at appmakeruniversity.com. Thank you.